I love Sunday nights at Water Life Island because we see the gospel do its work. The gospel is a very simple message. It's the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And, and as we present that message, it's, it's so great to see the Holy Spirit bring students to salvation. And we give an invitation and they walk down that aisle and all of heaven rejoices as uh, campers accept Jesus Christ as personal Savior and begin a new life in Christ. Our theme this summer is the Olympics, and our theme verse is, comes from 1 Corinthians 9 where it says, I don't know about you, but I'm running hard for the finish line. And I think one of our meetings during the week that really kind of speaks to that theme is our Wednesday night dedication service. We all gather at the campfire, and a speaker just lays it out, how our students need to give their, their all to the Lord Jesus Christ and run in the race and get rid of the distractions and, and do it for Him. And it's so great to see young people say yes to God that night and, uh, and give their bodies to the Lord Jesus Christ. Man, what an awesome week it has been here on Word of Life Island. In fact, I've been here myself uh, several times over the last 25, 30 years. Man, I'm old. And I gotta tell you, I don't think I've ever seen a group of young people like this. And let me clarify that. The other night we had a campfire time in which people were to come down if they were ready, not just to give the Lord a piece of their life, but all their life, everything they had, uh, even their bodies as, as a living sacrifice unto the Lord. And out of the 500 or so that were there, I would say nearly all of them caught that fire and came down and did that. So here's what we've been talking about this week. Combine what I just said with the fact that real faith has action. That was great. You came down to the campfire. You put your stick in the fire. That means you're fired up. No pun intended there. You want to follow the Lord. The passion is there. Please remember this. Going through the book of James, we learned that 
Real faith has action. Dead faith just sits there. Dead faith can talk. Dead faith can act like you're fired up as a Christian, but if you don't do anything, then it's not real. So today on Thursday, and we've got one more day left, I talked about something that'll probably help you for the rest of your life. And I've talked about this GPS watch. I talked about how if we wander off into the woods, I can hit track back and it'll take me back to the beginning of the trail. And I can see where I went off if I got lost. Well, spiritually speaking, remember, gang, you have that in your heart. You can track back and see where you went off. And gang, if you want to finish strong, if you want to do great things for God, take a look at your life right now. See where you're spending your time. See what actions you're doing. See who your friends are. And gang, realistically, look, where's that going to lead? If you want to be great for God, if you want on your tombstone not to get morbid or whatever, you know, he discovered his purpose and she discovered his, her purpose for the Lord and she lived him out to the fullest. He lived him out to the fullest. Then work backwards from that statement and find out if you're on the right track track forward for Jesus and you'll do great things for him. I believe in you. More importantly, so does God.